I recently read a blog post by Antoine Vanderlees. He did a fantastic job of introducing JSON parsing and decoding in Swift with examples. This is such an important topic that every Swift developer should know, I thought I'd put a series together that takes Antoine's approach and expands on it somewhat. I'll leave a link to his blog in the notes below. He has a lot of really great information on his blog and I highly recommend it. So what is JSON? Well, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a minimal, readable format for structuring data, and it's primarily used to transmit data between a server and your application, but I've also used it to store seed data in my bundle so I can load the data right directly from the bundle of my application. It's a text-based format for representing information. It consists of key-value pairs and punctuation in the form of brackets, parentheses, and colons. JSON can represent ordered structures or arrays and unordered structures, each of which may contain a combination of strings, numbers, or values like true and false and null. What's fortunate for us is that each one of these JSON types can map to a corresponding Swift entity. You'll notice that there's no corresponding representation for something like a date. Well, the good news is that we can almost always convert things like dates into corresponding numeric or string representations, and we'll get into that in the series. Before we get into the meat of the series, let's just first take a look at a couple of simple JSON structures. And this one contains some key value pairs where the values are basic types like a string and an int, and one more where the values are an array of objects containing two key value pairs. We can create another object of this same type and create an array. This too is valid JSON. My objective in this series is to help you to be able to build corresponding Swift models that when you decode the data that you receive in JSON format, it can populate their models. This is going to be a nine part series and you're currently watching the first one. We'll start off with the basics, showing you how to create your classes or structs to map the key value pair JSON to your struct properties and the basic method for decoding the JSON to create your Swift objects. Next, we'll take a look at how you can create and decode a JSON file that is stored in your application bundle or documents folder. This will be followed by a video that will explain how you can get dates of various formats decoded to fit your date type in your struct. Coding keys are next, and we'll take a look at how you can use them to change the names of keys in the JSON structure to map to the property names that might be different in your classes or structs. Coding keys allow you to do some pretty amazing things, so we'll explore a little further and dive into creating our own custom decoder initializer to handle some special cases. At some point in your development path, you'll be getting your information from an external API. The common format now is JSON, so we'll be building a reusable generic function that you can use for most of your API decoding tasks. Once you have decoding under your belt, encoding data is really straightforward. It will have taken us five or six videos to learn the ins and outs of decoding, but we'll only be spending one on encoding data to form JSON. And finally, we'll take a look at a real application and add decoding and encoding functions that will allow us to read and write data that persists between sessions. If this is something you want to learn, then keep watching. 